Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is a gallery wrapped 2 inch wide, 8 by 8 inch canvas and I have pre-primed it with some mead and black paint. Maybe enough, maybe not enough. I've just done my first two successful blooms after, after trying very poorly for years. I think that I am going to try and take it to the next level. I'm going to give myself some places to put some green paint and blow it out and maybe some blue, who knows, at least on one side. I'm going to use that, what I'm using, the background and the paint that I'm puddling into are the Meaden and it's available on my Amazon link. I also am using Amsterdam Black with pre-stained wood conditioner for Minwax in it. And I hadn't tried it with the green yet. And I think I'm going to do that one again because it didn't really pan out. Let's try some turquoise this time. But the other ones have. I just want a little bit of greenery for foliage for my flower and I may or may not tip this the way I thought I was going to. I blew out my last blooms. I didn't tip them. So this will be a first. And if I blow these out far enough maybe they won't tip away when I want to do what I want to do. Using a little more paint than usual. My cell activator is Amsterdam Black with my regular paint recipe and two ounces of that premixed have ten drops of the Minwax wood conditioner. I am going to, yes I am, I'm going to try and start with some fire opal. Some, ooh, they closed up. Some folk art neon purple with gold iridescent pearl fine in it. Some Venetian blue. Some, oh, do I dare? <laughs> Some folk art neon pink. Some turquoise. Some gold. That's uh, Decor de Americana 24 karat gold. And I want some actual purple, and I have some that I need to use up. Come on out. Come on out and play. I really like that turquoise. I think I want something very bright in the center. Oh, I've got some leftover. Some leftover orange. I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm so nervous. Oh, I didn't use any of my Prism Pour Hot Orchid. Which has obviously closed right up on me. That may be more paint than I need. It may not. I'm using a pipette.
Not sure that the green is going to last. I love that the blue is coming up. I ought to let that rest a second, I guess. I could just tip it very little, which is my inclination. Or I could do what I think might save it, in my opinion, too. <laughs> just add some more colors. I probably don't need them. I should probably be patient. I'm not very good at that. So much for tipping. So far I haven't tip, tipped much of anything. But I've liked my composition so I'm really not complaining. And that was an accident right there. It might be a happy accident. I'll be taking my green off the sides and putting some more on there. This is calling to me right here. I wonder how little, you know what I thought I had, I do. I have a little tiny bottle. I don't need the pipette at all. I'm an idiot. Maybe I had to use that paint up just the same. I like it when I drop the paint in originally. Before I blow. I know I should be concerned I didn't tip like I said I would, <laughs> but I'm really not. I'm going to probably stick with my edges. I'm thinking I want to do something. I haven't tried any of the Decor Americana with orange in it. Nothing to keep me from just using the paint without blooming anything. But still, I have to know. Good experiment. Really good. down here. I 
I was kind of hoping I could get one more drop out of that. Boy, the colors that just break out are awesome. That is an amethyst that I love the look of right now. Yep, that's what I want in there. Let's just do a little bit of this right here. I think that little bit of green isn't going to hurt anything. Not sure what to do with that. Maybe go back and do the gold again. Because gold will sell. And I think maybe a little bit more. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. That can go right over the edge. And so can that. Okay, well, it didn't work out the way I thought it was gonna work out, but I like the way they work out for me anyway, so I'm not gonna complain. That's pretty cool. I still want another dot in the middle there. Maybe just the black one? I do like the dot. But if it sells up, that's fine. And if it doesn't, that might be fine too. Let's put a little bit of green over here. which went right down to canvas. And I have some time left. Yep, yeah, I like that. I think I'm inclined to leave my drips on the edge. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, if there are any. I finally stopped being chicken about using my 8 by 8 inch canvases for attempted blooms. It's not your typical bloom. I see that spot that doesn't have anything in it, and I want something to go in there. It's very paisley and I love it and it's, it reminds me of poppies. So I should zoom in so you guys can see a close up of the cells, hopefully. Let's pull everything this way. Pull the tile rather than trying to make the camera go where it needs to. I don't know how well you can see those. I hope you can see them better than I can. Anyway. I like this, and I love you guys. Thank you for being here. You inspire the heck out of me. You know that. If you're interested in more videos and you need a link, please ask me. If you look on my YouTube channel, you will find all playlists, creative playlists, and 18 lists of 100, and other lists of topics and genres. 
if you want to go to the exhibition video that's listed on the end screen of every video in the last 20 seconds, it will show you the prizes for those of you who decide to help support the studio by contributing through PayPal or Patreon. The icons are on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, and the links are on the link tree. The link tree is directly below the video. Underneath the link tree, you will find my email address should you be interested in purchasing an artwork or asking about a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, privately with me. On uh, the link tree, you'll find my Amazon link. My two books are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, and my OXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatulas, my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas, and all kinds of other cool stuff are there. Also on the link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Uh, the clothing you see below the video is now by Spring instead of Teespring, it, and it has all of our print leggings and all of our print t-shirts. If you are in the mood to shop, fineartamericanpixels.com on the link tree and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more, my Facebook group, will help you to about 1,400 items, each of which can be made into a lot of other items, which are pretty cool. So if you ever want a reproduction and you can't find what you're looking for, just ask me and I'll add it. It takes me about an hour, but it's well worth adding things that people are enthusiastic about. Look on my community board for tomorrow's video. Look on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students on Facebook. And that's on the link tree next to Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Fans and Collectors, where you can find the albums of artworks that I have edited so far. Please give me a thumbs up. Please, please, please share if you feel in the mood. And <laughs> please watch longer. Please watch the commercials if you're in the mood. Please uh, watch when the notifications come out. And your comments keep my morale boosted. Your donations help, count me, help keep me painting all this time. Just know if you get into the monthly drawing, there are only 15 to 20 people ever uh, so far that helps support the studio and it really helps me buy art supplies and keep me making videos so I really appreciate that but the odds are in your favor they're very good my paint pouring recipe is below the video if you're interested or you have questions and you need answers I'll tell you if I can answer you <laughs> I'll give you an answer if I have one I'll tell you who might have an answer if I don't or I'll just tell you I don't know all right I love you guys so much you inspire the heck out of me I think I told you that twice but uh, I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. And I'm all excited about doing blooms. Even if they're not typical. That's okay. I'm not typical either. Bye for now. Priscilla out.